Differential pressure gauges act as an essential visual indicator for the difference in pressure between two pressure points in a tank or pipe system. The most common types of differential gauge are Borden type, bellows type, and diaphragm type. Borden tubes are a cheap, elastic form of pressure movement and can be used for the measurement of both gases and liquids. Despite being invented over a century ago in 1850, Borden tubes are still regarded as one of the most reliable forms of pressure gauges available on the market today. The inside of a differential Borden pressure gauge is composed of the typical components you would expect in a pressure gauge. The main difference is that a Borden tube differential gauge consists of two Borden tubes, which, when subjected to pressure, act independently, measuring either the high pressure or low pressure flow. Bellow-type differential instruments are able to measure both low and high differential in conjunction with high static line pressure. Bellows gauges are known to be more sensitive than their counterparts, and so are better when it comes to measuring absolute pressure. Designed around a balanced bellows system, which converts the differential pressure into a rotary movement by way of a torsion tube assembly and mechanical linkages. As the pressure increases, the bellows are compressed, forcing the pointer and mechanism to move. Diaphragm differential pressure gauges are most useful when it comes to the measurement of differential pressure with high line pressures. Predominantly, it measures the pressure of a liquid, but it can also effectively measure gas in many situations too. It's especially effective for the service condition of filters, indicating when they require cleaning or else measuring the efficiency of a pump. The element is isolated from the high pressure by two diaphragms, so that only clean oil fills the chamber in which the mechanism operates. The low pressure chamber contains just one diaphragm. Differential pressure gauges are critical in determining the inflow of liquid within any pipe. The items that could be used to reduce the diameter of a pipe include orifice plates, flow nozzles, or venturis. Liquid inflow rates are measured before and after the points of a diameter-reducing item. The higher pressure is measured before the diameter-reducing item, and the lower pressure is measured after. The filtration sector is where differential pressure gauges are predominantly used. Here, they play an important role in monitoring the condition of any filtration to ensure that the pressure remains consistent throughout the filtration system. This is important because as filters remove unwanted particles, bacteria and other foreign objects, the filtration system will in time become clogged or broken. This causes the pressure to drop throughout the filtration system, which reduces the flow rate within the system. It is also a clear indicator of when a filter is to be replaced. Thus, the use of differential pressure gauges at regular intervals ensures that the condition of any filtration system can be checked without the need to shut down the system, reducing unplanned shutdowns and saving companies time, resources and money. Another use of differential pressure gauges is the monitoring of the level of a liquid, such as those stored in sealed tanks. Thanks to the pressure from the gas blanket, it can be difficult to get an accurate reading using a standard pressure gauge alone. Differential pressure gauges, on the other hand, are more effective at reading liquid levels within a tank because they read two different points simultaneously. Not only this, but differential pressure gauges specifically measure the difference in gas pressure compared to overall pressure, which allows users to translate the results into a reading of a true liquid level. Differential is the high pressure point minus the low pressure point and is measured as delta P. For example, if the high pressure point is 3 bar and the low pressure point is 2 bar, the delta P would be 1 bar. Advantages and Disadvantages Differential gauges are twice as effective at measuring pressure for inflow, filtration and liquid levels. They are simple to install, maintain and easy to read the measurements. Cost of installation is low and they can be easily mounted or retrofitted. They are minimally invasive and the measurement of pressure does not inhibit the process flow. They can be used with media such as paper pulp as long as diaphragm seals are used. 
A disadvantage is that an error may occur due to temperature fluctuations. The advantages of Budenberg differential gauges. They have a wide range of sensing elements, including bellows, diaphragms, and Borden tubes, and a wide range of materials to suit the process mediums. Their differential ranges are from 25 millibar up to 60 bar. A wide range of pressure elements are available. Mounting options include direct, surface, and flush. Remote options using diaphragm seals or directly via three or five valve manifold. Budenberg have been manufacturing pressure gauges since 1850 and are trusted worldwide. For further information on choosing or purchasing a differential pressure gauge, go to budenberg.co.uk.